All right. What we got here is uh, an oak. It's in the red family. It's turkey oak. There's four logs here. All one tree. Now what's unusual about this turkey oak, is, what is rare about this is to get to the diameter that you see here. Now this log got diseased. That was the butt end right there. This one was the next one in line. Then after that one was this bottom one right here, the hole in it. And then this one right here. Probably only make a mantle. Maybe a four or five foot mantle piece maybe. Some firewood. Not sure what I'm going to get out of this one. This one with the hole in it is curved. It's got some pretty good sweep in it. And that hole runs from one end to the other. But this top one's a good one. But here's the deal. What's unusual about these is that butt end is 24 inches in diameter. And that is about maximum for a turkey oak. Normally they die off at 6, 8, 10, maybe 12 inches. Their maximum height is usually around 40 feet. Well, if I've got four sticks here already that are uh, 8 foot, and you can see this top one here went on some more, and add another 10 to 12 feet for the canopy, this was probably close to a 55, 60 foot log. But here's the whole deal here. Now, I've sanded this log right in here. And I want to count the growth rings on this. Catch the age. The growth rings, I'm not sure if I can zoom in. But you can see they're really tight. I'm not sure. But I've sanded that. I've coated that. And I'm thinking this thing could be close to 100 years old or more. Here's the very core, the center of the log. That's where it was a sapling. Right there. We're not going to... We're going to either start or stop here we're going to go this direction but what I'm going to do is I'm going to index that I've got my stool right here because it takes a while and uh, to count this and so what I'm going to do is just fix the camera here and I may turn it off and on a couple times but what we're going to do here is we're going to index that and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, I've got straight edge. What I'm going to do is develop a straight line right to the center to the outside edge. And I'll tell you why. Because these rings are so tight you go to count these growth rings, you can get cross-eyed and forget where you're at. So I recommend every 10, 15, 20, depending on uh, the, the uh, thickness of them, uh, to stop and draw a cross mark and mark the number. Now, a couple of advantages is not only are you going to find out the age of the log, but the other term for what you can do is called dendrochronology and that's a little bit of a tongue twister for me, dendrochronology. But uh, with that you can tell weather conditions. It's basically a measurement of time. And on larger growth rings up in this location right here, this log grew fast. And so we had some wet months. Um, and on smaller growth rings it was starving for moisture at that time. And um, basically your dark rings or your small rings right in here are going to be your winter months and uh, they would begin about springtime um, where you have your, your fast growing starts to begin and these type of trees they lose their leaves uh, every fall so on and so forth but you'll be able to determine different weather conditions so I just wanted to show you that and uh, we'll get back to you a little bit on uh, the counting of these growth rings in a little bit um, so um, uh, when we do get all this figured out, this log is going to go on the mill and I expect to get pretty good wood out of here. We see some spalting around the parameter edge here, but um, um, uh, this, the wood out of here will be uh, basically used for just 
unusual projects or special projects. Uh, it, it, generally the wood in turkey oak is used for either firewood or maybe something special maybe some indoor barn construction or something like that years ago not really in the cabinetry or fine furniture but there should be some real good color in this log and uh, can be used for some special projects so we'll get back to you in a few minutes all right we've done a little counting about 10 minutes later and uh, let me get the camera set up here not too much noise. All right. Well, I was off a little bit. The log is 90 years old. It's not 100. Pretty close to 90. And uh, I used a whiteout pen just so that I could keep track of it. Uh, this black pen here was kind of absorbing a little bit. Even though I clear coated it, it was still absorbing a little bit. My defined line that I was following out. Uh, it's still there, but it's a little bit faded. Right here, 20 years old. And uh, at that time, this log was only about three to three and a half inches in diameter from here to here. So in 20 years, it only grew about three, three and a half. And that's probably about right. And here's the 40 year mark right here. And. Uh, and then at that time, it's measuring four, so it, it took 40 years for it to become eight inches in diameter across. That, that said, look at this right here. Here's 55, 56, and 57. This was a wet year right here. And uh, my guess it could have been a lot of uh, tropical storms, hurricanes or what have you, that sort of thing. At that point in time that log was uh, nearly 12 inches and um, that was some 33 years ago at that time. And uh, let's see, this is 2012, what would that make it, 90, um, 99, something like that. This log did come from the Ocala National Forest too, um, over there and uh, so um, here you go here's uh, 57 years 13 years later the log probably only grew one inch in diameter it's about a half inch of space is right here 80 years it had a pretty good growth about another two inches in diameter it's one inch here so we add the other inch onto the other side and then it had some pretty fast growth uh, from 80 which is right here to 90 about another two, two and a half inches, and then, uh, you know, it probably developed the disease way earlier than that, and it took a few more years for it to reach its full age and uh, die off. But, uh, so, with some of these, uh, this, these times in here, these dates, you can go back, backwards in time, and probably somewhat guess uh, your seasons in this location here where we are, we're in the Ocala location. So, uh, Anyway, on a, an old po old growth porous tree like that, it, it does help to uh, make an index line so you can trace your growth rings around and stuff like that. But I hope you get something out of that, and I hope I get some uh, usable lumber out of this log. Okay, there you go. All right, a minute ago. We were uh, counting the growth rings. Sorry about that. Had a red ant bite me. And uh, I said, I hope it yields good lumber. Now here's uh, the wood out of that log. It is virtually just about all cut up. It's uh, laying out here on the mill. Some nice wide boards came out of it. They're already stacked and put away. This will make a nice rustic cabinet project, rustic project where you don't mind the, the defects of knots in it. Let me back out. Okay, there's the last of the camp right there 
and a couple of boards right there beside the cant that I'm edging. Just want you to get a look at that. A little bit dark up under the pole barn here. Nice looking piece of wood right there, huh? So, uh, there you go. There's the beast. Just wanted to get to get get a, get a look at that. There's the other board. A shot of that. There you go. All right. Hope you enjoy.